What was was were you pleased when you watched them again? Yeah, anytime you win, you're you're pleased. Um, you know, you're pleased with a lot of things, and at the same time, uh, like I said last night, there's always things that uh, that jump out at you that we got to get corrected. Uh, and we got to get it corrected quickly because we're playing an outstanding football team this week. But overall, yes, was pleased with the effort. Was pleased with the, for the most part, the execution. But like I said, there's some issues that we got to get cleaned up. Could you talk about Mike Pelton and what, what he's done, kind of bringing these young defensive linemen along? Yeah, well, if you, if you look at the, the, the progress that's been made since week one, uh, I think there's been a tremendous amount of progress, and he's done a fantastic job of being demanding and driving those kids, and at the same time, uh, mentoring them. And those kids have done a great job of buying into what he's teaching. Uh, and so far, we've seen some, a lot of strides. And uh, but we're not there yet. We're not even close. And uh, we're gonna. We need to make some more strides real quick. Let's talk about the improved play against the run. That's one of the things we kind of constantly talk about as a defensive coach: the ability to stop the run. You yeah. Consistently about. Yeah. You know, we've, we've gotten better there. Um, because if you can't stop the run in this league, you're not going to win. And in order to beat a good SEC football team like Florida, you've got to do a good job against the run. And uh, our kids did that yesterday. Corey Lemonier over the last four games, I think he's got eight tackles for loss, five sacks, not really active. I mean, what what's kind of changed with him? What's kind of clicked? Well, I think Corey's, you know, last year's Corey's role was he was a guy that you threw on third down to rush the passer. And, uh, you know, when he started off the season, all of a sudden he had a much bigger load to carry. And, uh, you know, he was challenged. And, uh, you know, Corey's a competitor, and Corey, Corey's responded. And, uh, you know, he's certainly, there's a lot more out there for him. Uh, and just like all of us as coaches, as players, we've all got to, to raise our level, the, the level that we coach at, the level that we play at, you know, as we get deeper and deeper into our schedule. And, uh, but we're real proud of him and pleased with him. And, uh, like I said, at the same time, know that there's a whole lot more out there for him. Has he done? Has he played a big role in you know the way you guys set the edge against Florida? Yeah, he did. He played. A, he played a big role. Um, in times got those edges set and got things bottled up where everybody could fit and knew where knew where it was uh, because that's what we had seen on tape. You know, in previous when they hit the big plays, a lot of it was you know just kind of rolled off the edge and uh, and he did a nice job doing you know setting the edge for us, which was critical in stopping their outside run game. Ted, you have always talked about the importance of forcing turnovers and that's taken an uptick in recent games too. Yeah, we've, we've, we've done a better job of that. Uh, we're still missing some opportunities, so you're never satisfied. Uh, but, you know, like for instance, yesterday it was a, a good old-fashioned game of field position football. And, uh, you know, our special teams creating those takeaways that flip the field position were huge in the game. And uh, it's something that Every place I've been defensively, you want to do that for your offense because, you know, it's a whole lot easier for them to drive 20 yards than it is 90 yards. And uh, just like it's easy for us to defend 90 yards instead of 20 yards. So it's a field position game still, no matter how you slice it or dice it. And uh, we've got to do the things that uh, give us favorable field position. So about El Toro's play, what would you see out of him? Uh, once again, I thought he provided a spark, uh, you know, and I think he got better. I think he got better yesterday. Um, but it's no secret because he got better during the week. And at the same time, like I said about Corey, uh, he's got to get better this week. But uh, was pleased with his, uh, brought us a, a attack line of scrimmage and, uh, and did a nice job. He's improving his pass coverage and just got to continue to work to get better. Because, you know, just like after some of those other games, the, the goal hadn't changed. The goal here is to get better every day. And, uh, and that goal's not changing. So uh, just to, and, just to focus on taking steps every day to, to get better as an individual player, which in turn makes our team better. That's what Jay Collins doesn't start. You got a bunch of injuries and everything else. He goes in and really makes two two plays right uh, off when he yeah, first goes yeah. in. Yeah, I mean Jake, yeah, Jake is Jake was beat up and uh, you know, like I said, he goes in right off the bat and makes two huge plays and uh, you know, really proud of Jake. Jake's a competitor and uh, you know, competition is good for our football team and uh, just look forward to continue to look forward to both of those those guys working to get better to help our football team. How much better is your front play improved over the We've got significantly better, uh, significantly better, and uh, there's a lot, like I've said, you know, about some other issues. There's still 
but we certainly haven't arrived. Uh, we're getting better, but we haven't arrived. And uh, we've got to keep keep working to get better and pushing ourselves to get better because, you know, as you get later in the season, we get some. This is a this is a critical critical stretch for us. What did you tell some of those young men? You haven't seen how physical Welsh is. Um, so just to keep working. Uh, they'll, they'll see it soon enough. Um, so, you know, we just got to keep, because this league is a physical league. I mean, we, there, are, there are a lot of physical. Every team in this league is physical. So we've seen it, and uh, LSU certainly fits into that category. They, they're, they're really clicking right now, and uh, we got our work cut out for us. There was you know, a lot of talk after the Clemson game about kind of going back to basics, fundamentals. I mean, looking back on that, how important of a step do you think that was in, you know, how far the defense has come until now? Uh, I, I think that, that that is a factor, and but I also think that, uh, you know, there were some things that went on those first three weeks that, uh, that some, some growing pains. And, uh, you know, to, to, re, to refocus, recenter on what's what wins games for you what allows you to play better defensively and uh, certainly not never lose have never lost sight of that fact uh, and at the same time um, just as, as coaches and as players working to, to put ourselves in position to make plays thank you sir great thank you all